Hare Krishna religious movement now has some 40,000 devotees throughout Australia, but the day-to-day -day lifestyle of its followers still remains a mystery to most of the community. To explain to us what it means to be a Hare Krishna, please welcome Chita Hari and his wife, Achum Chama Ri, and along with them, Asita and Kapila, who are here on a board. got something for me I believe. Would you like to give it to me now? Can you come up and give it to me now? Oh that's Put it very on, beautiful. Put it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you've got one too haven't you? Well turn around and sit down. There we are just while I have a chat here. These are not your children I'm No we told. borrowed them. But you're obviously... <laughs> and um, you know and just we're very open in the public we're giving out millions of books a year here in australia and then there's our chanting and so on as well so we're very now the chanting of course some people say oh there they go again making that terrible deed do you find that you get much a lot of resistance by people if you disturb them in the streets or do you feel it's a no. means of communication no it's a means of communication actually a lot of people like to see us chanting and it's an opportunity for them to approach us do you know when we between chanting mm. times but just still uh, the general public to see us and we find a lot of people like to join in they so what's happened have you has the movements changed its attitude by not being so isolated and coming out into the community or has the community changed its attitude both. to the extent <laughs> a little of both yeah, in I other words so. what about the uh, what about the uh, uh, the things that you do the style of dress and your mm. your markings on your face what are they what do they represent well, this is the Vedic style of living. We're following the Indian tradition that goes back 5,000 years. It's actually the most comfortable. You don't see a pregnant lady that looks so... So beautiful. So, you know, happily and comfortable dressed. and yeah, not right. worrying about the fit. <laughs> you don't have to change the fashion every year. <laughs> now, tell me a little about, to, about the, uh, the role of women in the Krishna movement, because it is unusual, isn't it? It's unusual, but it's, it's, um, it's practical. Our role is not one of great suppression. It's actually... We're able to express ourselves, you know, our minds, our feelings, um, but it's one in assistance of the movement. We assist in a position... But you lead quite segregated lives, I understand, don't you? I mean, sexually and as together. Well, we don't see sex as the main point in marriage, you know. We see more spiritual development. We have sex to beget children, and it's not that we don't enjoy sex, but it's not the main goal of the marriage, you know. And so um, <coughs> the main point is our, ch our women, they may be looked on as inferior as if we treat them inferiorly but we don't it's just that we don't sexually exploit our women but in the community itself do you live quite separately i mean the women eat together and the men eat together or yeah. are you integrated as a family unit as yeah. a family we are yeah as a family we're integrated within the temple we might eat separately but it, the woman we like to sit down and chat while we're eating and do you know be at ease like that mm. but um so it's not an enforced part of the religion? No, not really. How many... You, there are now 40,000. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? 40,000 40, congregations. And yeah. how long has the movement been in Australia? Um, I think 13 years, 14 years. That's quite rapid growth, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we're increasing by about 45% a year. And what do you think attracts people to your lifestyle? It's happy. It's a happy mm -hmm. lifestyle. That is fine. So Do you work very that. much as a team? I mean, the movement helps one another through mm -hmm. sort of thick and thin? Oh, yeah. It's, we're very close. We're like a big family, actually. Practically, you can ask any devotee in Australia, like the initiated ones, there's about 500 of us. Whether you know any other devotee, and they all know them well. We're very intimate and close. close. It is a family unit. I understand that it's, uh, it's quite unusual, and as much as your school that you have, that you even have children that don't necessarily belong to the movement actually coming to your school for their education. Yeah, right. You know, that 60 Minutes program opened right. up our, our school, and um, I, a lot of people can see that our children are more contented and happier than the majority of children are. I think we have some footage here, actually, of the little ones now. Mm. Where is Bouts is the school? School's in Mawillamba, northern New South Wales, and these children are, um, like, all living around the area. Even, I think that little boy doesn't live on in the school. It's in, he hasn't got Hare Krishna parents, you know. But the children, it's like it's a, there's 65 students there now. There was only about 10 when they did that footage. Is it very disciplined life? The school have got our lifestyle. Your lifestyle. Um, there's rules and regulations within it, um, yeah, definitely, but once again, it's not one of 
we're not reluctant to follow them. Actually, we're finding satisfaction in following satisfaction them. Satisfaction. Yeah. Sita, do you go to that school? No, you, not yet. No, not yet. Oh, yeah. she says yes. Well, do you go to that school? No, not yet. No. Oh, the birds are jazz. <laughs> I used to say that I was five when I was four, too. I think that's very normal. How do you... Not yet, but very Next soon. Year. Huh? Oh, great. <laughs> Tell me about, um, you're expecting your, your first child. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and uh, how do you feel? Will the child norm just absolutely at any point, do you feel, have any uh, desire to move away from your faith? Or are you confident that your child will grow up within the faith and you won't face? As I mean, let's face it, a lot of other religions mm. when well, kids reach a certain Every parent wants age. to offer their child what they're feeling is the better for the child. And um, we will write through the child will be disciplined and will be brought up within Krishna consciousness at a later date. And that, you know, 15 when it's given some freedom. I'm not so much freedom, but just like your own children, you give them what you think is the best for well, them. The other thing that fascinates me is, is it, was yours a, uh, an arranged marriage? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't know what you were going to get. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither did he, so I suppose it's a 50-50 risk on both of you. How did you feel about that, and do you have well, some... I, I had faith in, in my leader who was... I went and I said, look, I want to get married. So he chose a girl who he th thought had the proper qualities, right? Right. So everything's taken into account, even astrological balances and so on like that. And did and she have the same rights to say to oh, her yes. leader, I want a husband and oh, I yes, want she a, did. this she style is. of man? Mm -hmm. And it worked right from the start, you took a look at one another oh. and that was it? Well, well obviously uh, that's it. <laughs> it wasn't made in heaven. No. <laughs> Well, come on. <laughs> There's some that just click like that. Some you take a little while to get to know one another. I understand there is no divorce in your family. No, we don't have any. That's why, because if you just choose to get married because you're physically attracted, it's not actually a very good basis for marriage, as a lot of people are finding out in society. So I there's a, you, right. a huge divorce rate, whereas in our movement, we don't have any divorce because we, we choose one another for spiritual qualities. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very much. That's very sweet, isn't it? I think I might cry. <laughs> Just one final question. How do you financially support yourselves? Well, us personally, we're supported by the society because we're fully engaged in managing the society and looking after it. But, you know, everybody has different businesses and so on like that, and so they support themselves and... Uh, they support themselves or they work as a community? Some projects are owned by the society, some are uh, independent. financially independent. Because I think I saw on that program that you grow your own vegetables, you have a yeah, right. garden, you make We all eat together and, and, and so on. Yes. We have something. some boys that are jewellers, um, they work out in day jobs, nine to five jobs, and they attend the full program. Do you find it's difficult for them, or do they find it difficult to move back into the other society still wearing your style of clothing and everything and be accepted as... Oh, they, they dress in regular clothes yeah. like all these people. You mean we wouldn't recognise No, you wouldn't recognise it. Who's your... There's no, no, everywhere. <laughs> your garbage man might be one. My garbage man could be a Hare Krishna. What should I say to him tomorrow morning? Say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the program. You're very gentle people and I wish you the best of luck with the baby and thank you for my beautiful gift. Thank you very much, Okay. Baby. And we'll be back with Janine Ring and she's going to sing for us. Thank you very much. Thank you.